Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey, everybody. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access of uh, nightly rapid show. It is Wednesday. Happy uh, hump day. Tomorrow starts Major League Baseball, one step closer to normal life, right? We hope. Anyway, guys, congratulations. You made it another day. Hope everybody had a good day of trading. Uh, let's get into it. Um, let's, let's look at the indexes. Nothing really uh, to kind of turn heads today. You saw... Um, you know, 30 point move, 30 point and change move on the NASA composite, the Dow up 156 points. And that's a good thing. Again, uh, as my mom used to say all the time, uh, no news is good news. When you look at the indexes right now, um, again, Q's holding steady. They sold off a little bit this morning, uh, held the five, held the 10 day. That's obviously bullish. Uh, when you look at, for example, uh, the diamonds, again, you know, holding, you know, holding this range. Uh, it had a really, really tight range for a couple of months, propped out, and now it's starting a new range. Obviously, the next leg up is going to be uh, over this uh, 27,600 area. Uh, so, but, but that's good, right? That's good. And in the meantime, what we're looking for is rotation. And you know, I talked about it this morning um, in the live webinar at Morning Strategy, and I said, I, I think there will be a lot of value today. I just don't think there will be a lot of value like we had yesterday. If you guys remember, uh, yesterday in the first you know 45 minutes, there was like six, seven pivots. It was like really aggressive, rapid fire, rapid fire. Today was more that we had to wait for our value. Okay, uh, at the end there was some pretty good things uh, that did happen. Uh, all eyes were obviously going to be on. Uh, Tesla this afternoon, uh, Microsoft, the Chipotle, they were all coming out with earnings. Uh, but again, the most important part is that the indexes didn't make noise. And that's a good thing because again, when you have healthy rotation, for example, you go from uh, tech uh, to conglomerates to consumer cyclicals to anything, right? That's called a healthy market. When you have uh, completely a wild card and swings in the market, market structure completely damaged, uh, then you have a market that you don't want to trade. You have uh, a market that you can't control. So this is very, very controllable. The only thing is uh, day to day, depending what you are trading, okay, you're looking and your job is uh, to find that value. And that was our job today. And if when you look at the names that we had pivots on today, yeah, absolutely. There were some pretty good pivots. Uh, NVIDIA was my, uh, my best trade of the day. But if you look at uh, what we were looking for, it was an alternative. So as much as everybody wants the sexy, and again, uh, tonight everybody is going to be, and including myself, I can't be uh, I can't be left out. Everybody was watching Tesla. Even if you've never traded Tesla, everybody wanted to see what was going to happen, what was going to be uh, the show that Elon Musk was you know, ready to put on. And the, you know, the attention was there, right? Uh, but again, in the market, when you're trading, again, it's not about the sexy, okay? It's not about the sizzle. Uh, like I've been saying for years, the rich people, for example, in New York City, they don't live in Times Square where the fancy, you know, where the crazy lights are and the excitement and the shining stars, right? They live on the Upper East Side with the tree line blocks where it's very, very quiet up on the Upper West Side. They live in Tribeca. They live in all the areas that are quiet that don't attract the tourists. When you look at Tesla, right, this is the ultimate, <coughs> excuse me, this is the ultimate tourist stock. This is the ultimate lights camera action. I think somebody tweeted out that 450,000 Robinhood accounts were long Tesla. Congratulations, you're all rich, right? But the moral of the story is, again, we're not going to waste our time with something that is all about the sizzle. When you're trading and you're making a plan of action for the next trading day, you're all looking for it to get fed. So you're looking for the meat, you're looking for the potatoes, you're looking for the vegetables. Okay, the last thing you're looking for is the neon lights that's doing nothing for you, just attracting your attention. And that's what Tesla is. And unfortunately, tomorrow, a lot of traders are going to be attracted to the Tesla because again, according to social media, 
media, it's either going to go to 2,500 tomorrow or it's going to go to 200, right? Again, this is according to social media. So there's going to be a lot of wild money being spent tomorrow, okay? And a lot of people, again, that have no business to be in, in the stock in the first place are going to be uh, putting their money either on red or on black, right? It's going to be roulette. And some traders, unfortunately, it's going to be Russian roulette. But the good news is, okay, there is a market right now that's incredibly aggressive and quote unquote, dare I say, it's pretty hot. Okay, so the value is not in Tesla tomorrow, okay? The value is not in the stock that's gonna have a 250 point range, especially for anybody who's been trading this, you know, trading less than three years. Again, the, the furthest thing you should be doing, the last thing you should be doing tomorrow is looking at Tesla. You're going to be taking away attention from other really good areas in the market. And while the market is still very, very user friendly, I think that's the best way of saying it, uh, and even, dare I say, Robinhood accounts are making money in this market, uh, chasing momentum, your attention should be on other areas. And again, if you look at the pivots today, you'll kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. Again, they weren't sexy, okay? They weren't, for the exception of the video, the video was pretty sexy and had a really nice move. Um, but if you look at the names we were in today, for example, um, I traded a stock, S-O-N-O. -O. I traded uh, space on a dip. Not that space is not sexy, but again, it's not Tesla, it's not Netflix, it's not Amazon. Um, so there was a lot of you know weird names uh, that we were in today, but the moral of the story is, again, it's not about the shiny penny, okay? It's not about uh, being distracted by something else is going on. The grass is not always greener. The grass is obviously... Uh, greener right in front of you. Again, it's all about the value. And the most important part is while this market is giving us the luxury that we could expand kind of our thought process in other areas when our stocks are not being highlighted, you have to seize the opportunity to identify those areas and not looking, you know, at Tesla from tomorrow from 9.30 in the morning to four o'clock, you know, with your popcorn, you know, discussing it at the water cooler. Again, it's counterproductive and you're going to waste another valuable day where you could be looking at other values. So uh, going into tomorrow, again, nothing really has uh, changed here materialistically. Uh, the Qs, again, did a great job today holding uh, rising support. Again, I don't think anybody even realized that even tested rising support. That's how strong uh, the tape was. Uh, S&P is getting close, okay? S&P is getting close to uh, breaking out of this whole channel here. Uh, obviously, it's going to be tested tomorrow by Microsoft, right? You know, if, if this was... You know, if this was 15 years ago, you know, the all the money, all the hot money, all the eyes, all the attention would have been focused on Microsoft. OK, uh, Intel, Microsoft, Cisco, Oracle, 10, 15 years ago, they were the leaders. They were the hot money. They were they would have been the Robin Hood crowd. But again, as every generation changes, every well, every trading environment changes and the leaders now shift. And Microsoft almost didn't make even a blip on the radar that they were down th this afternoon. Again, not a lot, you know, nothing crazy about. But if this was 10, 15 years ago, the queues would have been down lock limit uh, down and we would have been talking about a five, six, 800 point decline. But again, this is a new market. This is a new era. This is a new psychology involved. You have much more market participants, whether they're unsophisticated or sophisticated, whether they're R2, R2D2 driven robot, or they're manually, this is the new game. You have to kind of start conforming to the new game and have an open mind to kind of trade everything. So again, let's see what happens with the bulls tomorrow. Uh, again, look, gun to my head, I think they do buy uh, any type of dip, assuming there is any type of dip. Again, you know, this is a new, you know, a lot of 20 year old traders, they don't even trade Microsoft. They don't even know the damn thing is even, you know, even in, in front of them until it goes up 200%. Obviously it's not going to happen. So their attention is going to be on other uh, places. Uh, Chipotle after the close, I, I didn't think they were horrible, right? I didn't think they were horrible numbers. There's, it's starting to actually uh, go back to green. But again, obviously the big money, uh, big money flow uh, this afternoon now on, in the close. Uh, after the close, obviously, was Tesla. They were expecting to lose like two dollars and thirty cents, and they and they surprised. They surprised. They made fifty cents, depending what estimates you're looking for. Uh, I th I saw about fifty cents. They actually made money again. Absolutely unbelievable story. Uh, that continues, and again, w nobody knows how this story is going to end. You know, does the stock go to five thousand? Does the stock go back to uh, two hundred? Nobody knows. I, I think it's a cool. Um, I think it's a cool period in our lives. Um, I trade Tesla all the time, but again, I trade Tesla when the time when there is a probability. 
And, and it's so funny as I say that, uh, there was a pivot this afternoon, we'll get to the pivots in a second, that as soon as I logged in, I, I knew there was gonna be an afternoon spike in this thing because again, that's what happens. It lulls uh, the, the bears to sleep and then next thing you know, they'll give you one run into the close. As soon as I logged off, Tesla puts up a $25 candle. Obviously, right? Obviously, and obviously you see what's going on uh, this afternoon. So again, a uh, pretty orderly day today. Um, pretty good stuff. Again, beta really wasn't uh, beta really wasn't the one uh, that had the most juice today. It was kind of other things, for the exception of Nvidia, uh, which I caught pretty well. Uh, for the exception of Nvidia today, uh, everything was kind of weird names. So let's talk about it. Um, Roku, not a big move at all. Uh, 155 and a quarter rejected three times. Uh, Pre-market needs to build. Not a big move at all on Roku. Uh, so it took out the 55 and a quarter. Uh, only ran up like three, you know, 75 cents before uh, it moved down. So there was nothing uh, there. Uh, the first move, if you, if you guys will notice, there was a couple of pivots here on Tesla, pretty much the same area. So I still, uh, by the way, excuse me, I still like Netflix in tomorrow. I, I still think this 484 is me a big area uh, for tomorrow. But the first move here, uh, 1610. Uh, on Tesla, if it builds below, it can give a pre pretty aggressive run. Uh, and again, this was the first uh, pivot this morning on Tesla. So here was the 1610, right? Here was the 16, where was the 1610 initially? So here was the initial move, 1610, and stock you know, ran up like 1626. Nice move in the morning. And then you'll see in the second, there was a second pivot as well. Um, I caught this trade pretty well. In the video, we saw a lot of weekly 430 calls. If you guys remember uh, the broadcast from last night, we talked about it. Again, the common denominator in the really hot money, high probability flow is a stock that's about to confirm coming out of a channel. And then you're seeing repeat call buyers with short-term expiration. That's exactly what we saw today in the video. You saw the 430 weeklies, very, very aggressive. And uh, my highest sale was uh, 422. Uh, here is so here is the pivot right here. Here's the whole 419 area right here uh, And it had a nice spike really really nice spike it traded up to uh, 423 and change before it rolled over and then it started rallying again until it rolled over so uh, Definitely nice move in uh, definitely nice move in Nvidia uh, She'll never confirmed uh, nice job guys uh, NKLA this is the second pivot uh, the first one was a couple of days ago. I think it was a Thursday or Friday at the $51 level that went down to 38. And today was the continuation. Uh, 38, if it builds below, uh, can flush more. I said there was a shot. It can get to uh, 36, 38. Uh, that was the daily support. And it got to da, 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 36, 16. So again, uh, here was the 38, right? Daily, daily uh, range, and it went right down to the next support. Uh, this thing starts losing 36 tomorrow. This thing has a shot to go back to 33. Again, this is not Tesla. Don't get it twisted. It ain't, right? It ain't Tesla. Um, so that's that there. Uh, SDC, surprising, was a really, really nice move. And again, last night I started putting all these non-beta names into, uh, into the feed. Uh, SDC, 930, 940. Uh, needs to build. Here is SDC. Actually, a nice looking trade, right? Right. So here is the 930, 940. The thing went to 1010. Pretty, you know, pretty impressive before it rolled over. Uh, Tupperware, right? Tupperware of all things. Again, this is what I mean by it's not about the sizzle. It's about the steak. Tupperware, eight dollars needs to build. Uh, again, Tupperware, right? Tupperware for God's sake. So it takes out eight. Uh, goes to 840, then it has a you know reversal into the, the day. But again, 40 cents on eight dollar stock. I don't know, is that good? Right, pretty good. Uh, so Tesla, the first move take on the way up went to 1626. Uh, nice pop there. Blah blah blah. Nice blah there. Ten dollars on deck on SDC. Uh, ZM never got there. Uh, Workhorse never got there. Uh, New lows and NKLA again 3630. Next stop went to 3619. Perfect move. Uh, into the next uh, demand. Uh, so yo, so check this out. This is so I put this in right before I leave. Right, right before I leave. Tesla, nice spike this morning. Has another sneaky pivot at sixteen ten. It needs to build. Now I kind of revived that. Right, I kind of revived that. And I said, look, for experienced traders, right, there's actually a more aggressive channel. Forget about sixteen ten. There's more of an aggressive channel. Fifteen ninety five, fifteen ninety six channel to the prior 1610 and of course as soon as i leave i'm talking about 15 minutes after i leave here was the 16 you know here's the 1595 right here 
1595 and it goes to 1617 again i didn't need that 20 points don't worry right who needs that 20 points so unfortunately i didn't get that last spike and that's it that's it so a, a really good uh constructive day uh we also caught uh sono uh space i caught late in the day for a bounce not a big bounce but i caught it for a bounce as well so what i like about today's session was very very orderly uh, beta was not really in focal point. Usually the days that beta is not in the focal point, I'll kind of sit it out. But again, there was actually some pretty decent value in other places. And again, that's kind of the moral of the story going into tomorrow's session. Uh, again, will the bulls buy any significant weakness if there is significant weakens uh, in the Microsoft uh, reaction to earnings? And if there's not, will the money flow go back into these specific areas of interest? Again, same bad time, same bad channel. We'll all find out tomorrow. Guys, God bless, and I'll see you on the field. Tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.